Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see what do you mean by the software engineering and why software engineering is important. Okay, so let me start with the comprehensive definition given by the IEEE that is Institute of Electrical and Electronic Engineers. Okay, so they define the software engineering as the application of systematic, disciplined, quantifiable approach to the development, operation and maintenance of the software. If we see why exactly the software engineering is important, let me tell you because nowadays more and more individuals and society, they rely on advanced software systems. So, it is uh, the main work of software engineers to develop or to produce reliable and trustworthy systems which are economically feasible and they are uh, quickly developed. Okay, this is why this uh, the software engineering is important. So now let me take you for the essential attributes of the good software. Okay, so here I am going to tell you about what are the essential attributes of the good software. If we see the attributes which are essential for the good software, uh, we can divide it into four major categories which are something like this. The first category is maintainability, second one is dependability, third one is efficiency and fourth one is usability. Let me uh, explain each one of them. First one comes in the form of maintainability. When we say maintainability, that means here we are checking the ability of the software to be retained in its original form. Okay, when we say retaining in the original form, that means it should be uh, in such a way that it should be restored in case of the failures. Okay, and when we talk about the maintainability, we are basically dealing with the factors like maintainability, that means we are able to locate and fix the errors, modifiability, where we are able to make the changes required in the software, flexibility, that means we are checking the ability of the software which is going to accept the changes. Testability wherein we are able to test the software to ensure that the system is performing its performance or its functions properly. Then comes portability wherein we are checking whether uh, how exactly our system works under different environments when we talk about environment it can be either hardware or software related or sometimes combination of both then comes reusability wherein we are testing how efficiently our software can be reused and the last one is interoperability wherein we are talking about the effort required to connect the system with the other systems the second essential attribute comes in the form of dependability. When we see say dependability that means here we are checking how exactly the system can be trusted by the user and it is basically dealing with the factors like availability that means how efficiently our software is going to deliver its services, its correctness that means the extent to which the program is satisfying these uh, specifications Third one comes reliability, how reliable it is, that means how exactly the software is going to perform according to the specifications of the software. Then comes integrity, wherein uh, we are checking whether the software is performing its intended functions or not. Then comes security and safety. Next uh, attribute or next essential attribute comes in the form of efficiency when we talk about efficiency it is nothing but uh, wherein we are checking the uh, whether the system is going to uh, achieve the expected objective or no okay so that's why i have written here the extent to which system may be expected to achieve its objective and if we see the objectives uh, like in the efficiency, we are basically focusing on the response time, memory requirement, processing time and memory utilization. Let me brief you about these uh, objectives. Response time here basically we are talking about the time taken by the system to react to the user's 
input okay then comes memory requirement it basically deals with the hardware and software components of computer system which is required to install and use the software efficiently then comes processing time it is time used for processing the instruction and last one is memory utilization it is nothing but the amount of main memory that the program is using while executing and the last essential attribute comes in the form of usability when we say usability it is nothing but how the user can use the software okay to achieve the specified goals like effectiveness efficiency and satisfaction so these are the essential attributes of the good software hope you have understood it properly thank you